that have all subs in all their matches. So that's going to change tonight because we got Jonathan Roberts for Matt Anderson coming Matt up. Matt Anderson. So did you? So you're using your uh, prophecy skills earlier. Did you see Matt Anderson coming up with? Awesome. I, I told Matt Anderson today, you can ask him. I said, you're going to get two out of three subs tonight. You're going to submit two of these guys. Yeah. I did. I said that. Now, I don't think he ain't subbing Jonathan Roberts. I'll be shocked. If he subs Jonathan Roberts, I'm putting Matt Anderson in my top five. I'm a believer. I'm like a real believer. I'm a believer in Matt Anderson now, but I'll be a real believer. All right. Womp, womp, womp. Super chat from Phalanx. Phalanx. I don't know. I think he might need a, another womp, 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 womp. Super chat. You get double. The double womp. <laughs> so here we go. Really nice pass by. Man, so Eric Longard's on top right now. He has the dark hair. Lewis has the blonde short hair on bottom. So Eric Longard, great pass by right there. Almost gets a look at Lewis's back for a split second. Lewis, though, gets his back to the ground. And looking for that leg lock. Eric, though, great job. Great job passing side to side. I really like Eric's passing. The times I've trained with him, I've been really impressed. When he gets on top and he's probing the guard, he's so good at finding the spaces, finding the knee slice passes. So Lewis, though, doing a good job. He's in butterfly guard. And this is Lewis's best spot. This is where he really likes to set up his offense, whether it's rubber guard or elevation for the legs. We've already seen him reach underneath that underhook, looking for that scoop grip on bottom. Lewis trying to stand back up. I definitely think Eric's got the standing advantage. So I'm looking for Eric to win a standing back. Oh, there we see that pass by again, and he's on the back this time. Lewis, though, great job. Gets his back to the floor, but Eric's on top, man. Two really slick pass bys. 4.30 left on the clock. Man, he's looking for, he's looking for that arm triangle. Man, Lewis really needs to think about doing a big bridge right here. He's starting to get deep. Eric's got a good arm triangle. Anybody that trains with Casey Halstead has got a good arm triangle, and that's tight. You can see that hand's up. He's thinking about tapping. Lewis really needs to try and explode. And Eric's in a great position right here. 350 left. Oh, and Eric goes right back to Mountain. I love how he's setting up the arm triangle again. He didn't quite get the position he wanted, but goes right back to Mount, doesn't lose control of that arm, and he's back in looking for the arm triangle. So this is a position we call the chopping block here, where we've got control of the head in 10th Planet. He got control of the head. He got the arm up. All Eric is looking for now is to get that head on the other side, but Lewis does a good job bumping and now he's out of danger for the moment. Now, Lewis really needs to start thinking about those frames. If those arms stay up there, Eric's gonna keep tacking that arm triangle all day long. Eric's got a good mount going. Three minutes. We got three minutes in, so three minutes left. Nice, really nice job by Eric. Oh, beautiful mounted triangle setup right there. Allowed Lewis to do a big bridge, changed his angle. But Lewis Looking comes back. out the back door and he's looking for the leg lock right away. Uh, Eric, though, does a great job escaping his knee line. Man, what an escape by Lewis. I mean, that was a beautiful triangle setup. Excellent Jean-Jacques butterfly sweep right there off the overhook. And Eric's in his strongest position. He's passing weak side half guard. He's got control of the head. He's got that knee in the diaphragm. Ooh, you just saw Lewis take a deep breath. He's looking for that Darce choke. One fifty left. So we got one fifty left. Eric Longar all over Lewis. Really good pass right there. That was all set up because Lewis's shoulders were pinned to the mat. 
since his, he was pinned to the mat, the butterfly hooks couldn't follow, and all I did was a back step. Back step. Eric's on top again. Lewis going to be tough to put away, though. We've already seen him in a deep arm triangle. He did a great job keeping composure. Nice job. Excellent job by Eric right there. Lewis tries to hit a bottom side control arm lock. Eric, though, great job posturing up and going to knee on belly. He's looking for that arm triangle back take. Eric's in on the back right here. One minute left. Oh, and Lewis shakes him off again. Oh, jumping guard right there. Man, that looked really awkward on Eric's knee. I hope he's okay. Man, that jumping guard did not look good. But Eric seems to be okay. He's in a knee shield guard right here. 40 seconds. Man, Lewis is exhausted. Tries another jumping guard pull. I mean, these guys are leaving it out there. And 20 seconds. Lewis has got Eric's posture. Eric's got the inside space. So you see he's got that bicep tie. It's about 10 seconds left in this match. I think it's too late time. All right, we got two Super Chat donations. Womp, 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 Super Chat from Troy Lindsay. You guys go back and, uh, and look at his comments. He's wanting some interaction. And womp, 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 Super Chat from Still Sarah. We appreciate you guys. Yeah, 